Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. As the Mules County were demonstrations started off officially today, where we saw demonstrations in Nyanza, Western, and in Nairobi. And in the coming days, it's widely expected that the demonstrations will be more intensified and they will cross over to other counties across the nation. But what caught my attention were some events that occurred in Kisumu, where the demonstrators literally fled with a police barrier that was blocking them from accessing some government offices. Eventually, they managed to present their petition to the county commission. Let's dig deep into these events that happened today in Kisumu. First of all, we are seeing demonstrators being blocked from accessing a government office or a public office. The demonstrators in turn carries a police barrier and runs away with it. That's a very interesting incident. After which we are seeing the demonstrators successfully presenting a petition to a county commissioner. I think that was a county commissioner. In this case, let's say, to a government officer. And they did present it very successfully. There were no running battles as they were presenting that. What does all this mean? The first thing coming out very clearly, the mere fact that the, the demonstrators were able to flee with the police barrier mm -hmm. that had been erected on the roads, and then finally, they successfully present a petition to a government official that alone confirms that an idea whose time has come, not even the strongest of armies can block that kind of an idea. Not even the strongest of armies can block that kind of an idea. That's the reality that William Ruta and his government should be prepared to deal, to deal with. Kenyans are tired and fed up with this government. It's either he addresses the concerns and the issues Kenyans are raising, or maybe be, be prepared to actually quit. I think that's the lesson that we can learn from those two incidences. The people are determined, they are ready and out to go to extreme lengths in making sure they are hard. That's something coming out very clearly. Secondly, demonstrations, prot protests, picketing, all those are allowed in the Constitution. Kenyans are allowed to present a petition to any government office. So by the police trying to block them, the police, are, in my honest opinion, were acting outside of the law. So in this case, the police themselves were breaking the law that they should be maintaining. Yes, the police are there to maintain law and order, but by them trying to block the demonstrators, they were breaking that law they are expected to maintain. Yes, and I believe that's how William Ruto who trained his close allies, might have wanted it. And I'm saying that because some few days ago, we saw Raino Dinga at DCI headquarters. 
where he was blocked from accessing the offices. And the officers made it very clear that they had received orders from above that Chai Rodinga should not access the offices. So even in this case, I strongly believe that the police officers might have received orders not to allow as your supporters access government offices. It's only that the police officers were overpowered. So an idea whose time has come, no, nobody can stop that. And looking at the county commissioner who received that petition, I don't think William Ruto and his team are very happy with that, that <coughs> county commissioner. I don't think they're very happy. Yes, something tells me Ruto and his close associates are not very happy. They wanted, most definitely, police officers to act very brutally and very violently against the demonstrators. But you are seeing the county commissioner actually received, agreed to receive that petition. And it was very peaceful. That also confirms it to me that William Ruto has to be very careful because it can reach a point where even the police themselves might now not receive some orders they feel are illegal. Because according to the law, Kenyans are allowed to present any petition or other petition to any government office. The mere fact that that county commissioner did receive it, that confirms but that maybe in the coming days, the police might also not accept <laughs> to follow some orders they deem illegal. And should it reach that point, then I'm seeing Kenyans, rather Kenya, going the Sri Lanka way, where initially when the protests and the riots started, the then president of Sri Lanka, Gotabaya, unleashed the police and the army on the demonstrators. People were beaten, but that did not, dis did not, did not discourage the demonstrators. They pushed on to a point that even the police surrendered. They said enough is enough. We can't continue beating these people. That can also happen in Kenya. And I saw some signals from that Kisumu incident. The police can say, no, 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 no. We can't go, go that way. And in one way or the other, it can also mean that even the police themselves are not happy with the way things are, are going on because they are also human beings. They are part of us. They were promised some things during the campaigns, things they have never been given. So it might also be possible that across the country, the, the, the security officers are also not happy with what is going on in the government. So should push comes to a shove, then William Ruto and his team might find it a little bit hard actually handling issues and things. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But even before I stop, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like, and to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants to support us here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact us through the number, or I'll contact me through the number, or feel free to channel your support to the number. Those two incidences confirms one thing. Not even the strongest of armies can stop an idea whose time has come. And that the police force, they are equally part of us 
And they might also be feeling the pain Kenyans are going through. Let me stop it there.